Hello, and welcome to the fifth episode of Clay Civilizations. We are back at the green with Zero Reality, and we're going to go over the changes that have been made. So, here on the green, of course you can see the wall has been greatly expanded to actually connect to the gate. And not much has actually happened in the main city area. Other than that, if we go out, there are some markets over here at the suburbs. And what's this? Who is this? Who is this man? Do you know? Oh, that's a traveling merchant. Ah, now what's the traveling merchant here for? Ah, well, I mean, it looks like we are trading sticks for pants. I say that's a fair trade. Wink. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> because it's not a fair trade at all. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Your I don't... pants are six. Yeah, six pants. Alright, well, and before the excitement of the pants go over, we're gonna go to the home base and show it off before going to yellow. See you there. Welcome to the Blue Merchants. This is their base camp where they will be selling all the goods and storing everything. We'll buy the- oh, that's my inventory. We'll buy the one and only Zero Reality. Little pants. Not good to, but it's the reason why it looks bad because I'm... No, I don't look bad. But as you can see, there were two people missing. <laughs> One of them is at the green, but where is the other? You will have to wait and see. Now to the yellows, we must go. So the yellows have made a pretty good amount of progress since the last episode. If we go down into the mine, we can see that they have expanded increasing their territory more, and now they have a magnificent ore of iron, and I keep opening my inventory. Oh, okay. What you doing in these mines? What you get put in here for? Are you trying to steal sticks? Well, I'm put here for a job. Oh. I'm in here because I tried to steal sticks. I'm gonna go try to steal them again. <laughs> um, but, as you can see, we have, the also over here, there is a little gravel station, which they're gonna try to figure out what to use gravel for, but so far they've been unsuccessful. But if we follow the path, we can see that after barely missing a collapsing point in the cave, we have an iron forge right here. This is where they forge the iron. Let's draw it here. And here we have the magnificent advancement in technology, the lava scooper, which is operated by these two fine gentlemen over here who are looking at the lava and staring up and wondering why they had to get stuck here in this boring heat in the desert. Since they're clay melted by now? Yeah, um, oh my god, did that dude just jump? No, okay. I thought he jumped in the lava. But, yeah, this is the lava school. You're getting really close to the lava, Mr. Sir. Hey, don't, <laughs> don't push, push him in, man, or I'll cancel the trade. They're running away from the job. They're not going to get more lava. They're well, away. if we go over to the new little colony here, we have two little things. Just a stick market and a single house. But, yeah, other than these things, oh. The main thing was just the iron and the lava and spoon. It's really a spoon. Let's be honest here. It's just a big spoon. But now we're gonna go over to the paints. Well, there might be a special surprise. Okay, we are in the pink village. Okay. The king file publishes the people over here, the lumberjacks, they wanted. Their structures for storing their trees and yes. like better, protect, more protective. Hey, hey, they finally got it. This tree is wearing pants. They got it. 
got pants now. That was like Patrick. They got pants. Patrick, stop. That's going straight into my tank. It's a little different, but besides the pants. These are my pants. Let's see over here. This is where the other traveling merchant is. They're going to trade Bins. for pants. He's going to trade pants for sticks. Which, because you can make it out very small. And not very small. Patrick stars out here. They've been trying, trying, digging down their mine. But they can't find it. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go help them. <clears throat> nope, there ain't nothing in here. Mine's dry. Yeah. Lucy, try their best for mine. I think they just picked like a terrible spot to mine at. <laughs> Make sure we use the gravel mines. That probably has better luck. Well, Can we check? We talk to the, we talk to the king. To our godly. Yeah. <laughs> and what, is that all in the pink? Where did you go? That's, yeah, that's basically all. Alright, well, let's go to the blade then. Oh. Great so intro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're just like, we're okay, uh, this is going iron. deep. Mm. Discovered iron, like nice. sand. They are a little bit slower than the, the sand, the which are yes. yellow village, I should call it. Yeah. A little bit slower, but they're still kind of catching up with me. The sand dude has a lot. King wanted the iron block to symbolize. I don't know, man. I don't think they'll ever be able to catch up to the iron, uh, the uh, lava scooper. What the hell? They have a scoop. They have a scoop over here. Oh, wow. They're trying to expand. They're trying to expand off this way. Ooh, wait, why this way? Expand off. More space. Oh, what? Okay. So they started to expand off that way. They got water. Yeah, they got water sources. Um, here we have the anvil. Craft tools and. I like this building. It's pretty cool. It's, it fits two people, and you can even have a pillow to sleep on. That's not a comfortable pillow. It isn't, but... <laughs> it's a pillow. It's a pillow nonetheless. Well, you can take the hide from these dudes, put it on that pillow, and then boom. That's <laughs> Well... We're going to have to see if it's comfortable when it happens. Maybe in the next episode. Bye.